In Kirby Mirror, the integration with Jira has become fairly easy. You need to simply select the tracker uh, where you wish to set up the synchronization with Jira. So in this case, I'm going to select my bug tracker, which is currently empty. So as a first time action, I'm going to go to the settings. I'm going to click on uh, synchronize with Jira. Uh, yes, this is the first time I would like to associate this tracker with the issue type. Here by default, you can see my pre-selected uh, information regarding my Jira instance. So there you see the URL of my Jira server, the username and, the, and, and my password. And then I simply have to select the Jira project and the issue type. And then he, this, is, this is actually Jira data. So here you can check out the content of these two specific projects. I could select from the CodeBeamer bug tracking project uh, the bug issue type from, from my Jira project. I can also click on the preview if I would like to check if this is the right uh, uh, issue type that I wish to uh, integrate and synchronize to, to CodeBeamer. Now you can see that uh, in this bug uh, issue type I have eight bugs. Yes, this is exactly the one that I would like to uh, synchronize this with my uh, CodeBeamer project. So therefore I come back here and I confirm my selection by hitting the OK button. And then uh, you can see uh, all the fields from Jira appeared uh, that I can specify the mapping. But before I do that, I need to specify the direction of the synchronization, which can either be an import only, an export only, and a synchronization. Import only means that we take all the information uh, in CodeBeamer from Jira. Export only means that uh, from CodeBeamer, the data is being exported to uh, Jira and the synchronization means what it is, that bidirectionally this will import and export the information in parallel. So let's select the synchronization. Uh, for the references, CodeBeamer can take over the Jira users and uh, whenever the items have been uh, generated in CodeBeamer upon the first execution of the synchronization, the items will get assigned to the, to the Jira users. Uh, the same goes for the user groups. And also the versions, the versions are being reflected as releases within CodeBeamer. So the items, uh, first of all, the releases will get generated in CodeBeamer and the uh, items, the bug entries will get assigned to these specific releases based on the versions coming from Jira. Uh, the same goes for the components. So the components can either be generated as a CodeBeamer reference field or as a configuration item and the system will store the traceability links and also all the connections. On the left hand side, you see the generic fields uh, from, from, G, uh, from Jira. For example, the status, you can see that I could map the status, uh, first the field and then the, uh, the values. Then I will have to select and change the setting from ignore this field to map it directly to the status field. And then for each and every status, I can specify the mapping. So the to-do uh, uh, to should go into the uh, new status and in progress is being automatically mapped because there was an, uh, an exact match in the name of the field. And if I click on to done, then done would mean in CodeBeamer as a resolve status. Of course, obviously it helps if you have the exact same configuration both in Jira and in CodeBeamer, and therefore most of this configuration and, and mapping will be set automatically by the system, but anytime you can overrule that if you have the project and the rights in CodeBeamer. Then I can say that's the resolution field. The resolution is also some values. Uh, I'm going to click on to that. Uh, I'm going to map that to the resolution. The done means, uh, let's say, fixed. Won't do that. Uh, we won't fix that. And the cannot wrap for use says uh, it works for me. Those are the values from CodeBeamer. Uh, if I further scroll down there, you can see the fixed versions, which is goes to the releases. The priority, I'm going to set up the priority field and also the different values. And now you see here that we, uh, we lack in CodeBeamer the medium value. And therefore, if I click on please select, then uh, at the bottom of this drop down, you will see the new option. And based on this new uh, option, uh, if you have the project admin right, uh, you can then uh, specify the field value within this field. And uh, this can set up the, the connection easily. If I further scroll down, then you can also see. The, uh, the arrows between uh, the Jira fields and the CodeBeamer fields. These arrows are representing the direction of the synchronization, which means uh, this can be an ex uh, import values only, export values only, and also the synchronization. When you have these both directions, whenever you comment in uh, CodeBeamer, that will be reflected in Jira and the other way around as well. 
if I further scroll down, there you can see the links. So uh, first of all, these are the tutorial links, and those can be specified as uh, CodeBeamer, uh, CodeBeamer associations. Just leave it out for here, uh, right now. And this is an automated and scheduled synchronization, so you can specify a certain time interval. If I specify 10 minutes for this uh, uh, synchronization, I can do that. And up on every uh, every single uh, like uh, 10 minutes, this will be triggered automatically. So I'm gonna hit OK when everything is fine. Before I do that, please note on on the uh, right corner that uh, you can save this configuration and anytime you can use that. So you don't have to set it up manually again and again. If you are synchronizing multiple bug trackers from different projects, you can just use this uh, existing configuration uh, and upload it once. So this is going to save you a bit of time. So I'm going to hit OK. Now it's fine. And see, I first uh, see an overview that when the last synchronization happened and when is the next scheduled. So uh, every time as a first time action, you need to hit on synchronize manually. So this will start the sequence. Uh, after that, you will see a, a quick summary table, how many items being created, how many uh, comments being created, and also how the versions representing uh, the releases. So if I'm going to hit on OK, now you see these are the items that are being imported from Jira. What I'm going to do here now again, I'm going to go to my Jira instance and I will create a new item. Let's say I name it software bug. This is my bug's description. First scroll down and set the priority to the lowest and I'm gonna hit a uh, save and I will create this new bug in Jura. So there you see that. If I go back into CodeBeamer, click on to the more. I want to wait uh, till the next execution is uh, scheduled. So here you can see the, the uh, when it's gonna get scheduled. For now, I'm just gonna hit on manually to synchronize. There you can see that this one item has been generated. From here, as these are direct links, I could also navigate directly to these items uh, and I could go into this detailed view. But now if I'm just gonna hit okay, now you see that this software bug as a top entry uh, just listed here. And now as a, as a second action, what I would like to do, I'm gonna hit on uh, this uh, and we'll execute the state transition. So I'm gonna put it into status in progress. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna reset the priority from the lowest to high. And let's say I add This is a description from CodeBeamer. I'm gonna save it. I will hit the integration manually, so therefore I go back. I click on more, synchronize it with Jira, and I hit on synchronize. And the item has been generated uh, and updated in Jira, so it's okay, let's take this. And also if, if I just go back to this overview again, so if, if I go back to the synchronization with Jira option, there you can see the history of the synchronizations and uh, for every single synchro synchronization you can see uh, what happened here. So how many items being created, how many items being updated. Uh, and the, as these are direct links, you can directly navigate to those uh, items and also you can see who executed the synchronization. All right, now I'm just gonna go to Jira. I refresh this page. And now you can see that the software bug is currently in, in progress. This was triggered by CodeBeamer. And if I open up the detailed view of this specific software bug, now you can see the description has been updated, so has the priority. And all this uh, information is being part of the Jira uh, item as well, because uh, the Intel software, this is uh, CodeBeamer has updated uh, these properties on this bug entry.